Hello, my name's Ruth Walker. Welcome to the Did You Knows if you've not been with us before and I hope you'll continue to get value out of them going forward. It's my role at Sims to help you get better use out of the Sims software that you use to highlight features that you may not be aware of and hopefully the school will therefore get better value from the investment that they've made. Today we're going to be looking at a very simple piece of functionality. It's general reminders, alerts as we call them. It's a two-part process which helpfully will deliver for you a calmer and more effective you. So let's take a look. You'll see from my home page that I have a missing block and this is for the big reveal later on. The first part of the task is to tell Sims what it is that you want to be notified about. So come through the focus menu to the set at reminders option. As you can see, you can actually be reminded about a range of information. As usual, this depends on the processes that you have in school and potentially areas of different responsibility for individuals. I'm going to notify myself about the free school meals and the medical events here. And I've made those active, therefore, they therefore will be those that I will be reminded about. But of course, you do have to have a measurable parameter in the software for this to work against. We need to tell the software the number of days in advance that we need to be notified. So for free school meal eligibility, it's probably quite a long roll in time. So I'm just going to put 99 days here. And that's because your process may be to actually remind parents who need to fill in a form that has to go to the authority and then be returned. And clearly that has a delay in built into that. In terms of other activities, such as uh, medical events here, you may only need a fortnight's notice because simply all you need to do is to notify participants uh, of the date. The SEN reminders, it may be actually the SEN coordinator would feel the, be the benefit of having that as one of their alerts. So do remember to pass this did you know on to them to actually set those up for themselves. If you're your own admissions authority, you can also set up a, a reminders around that activity too. So that's going to be applicable for some of you. So once you've selected the ones that you're interested in and you've actually identified the, the, the days in advance, all you need to do is to save that into the software. The second part of that now is to pull that bo box, that panel, into our home page. So many of you will be familiar with this. Choose to configure. We add the reminders panel on. And then we can see immediately items have actually populated into that box. Anyone can set up reminders. It's applicable across the, the, the suite for all users. So as I say, pass this did you know on. And if you can't remember how to configure your home page panel, you can see one of the other did you knows that we've already done in the series, configuring your home page. For further information, please see the on-screen details. And I hope to see you again next time.